What's up sales pros? It's Larry the Mortgage Guy, your sales disruptor. And uh, happy Monday. Uh, excited to uh, be on video on my personal account. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about presentation, right? When it comes to your profile, and hopefully you've watched the other videos and you realize that your profile is your business page. Your profile is where you should be uh, promoting your business and such. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, make it you know, a big commercial. That's not what I'm saying. Obviously, if you think that, you haven't watched any of my other videos. Uh, but yes, your profile is very important, especially on how you present the information. Now, I've seen and I've been told that you should make your profile picture very professional. I've seen and I've told, been told that you should make your cover photo like a an ad, you know, like a photo of you in your suit and tie with your phone number. That's what I've been told. It could work, right? But the way I look at it, it makes it less personal. It makes it not a not a personal profile if you do that. I think you should put a photo of your family or of a vacation spot that you went to and you took a really good photo or maybe a, you know, a really cool saying or meme, you know, that should be your cover photo. And your personal photo should be just whatever, you know, it should be a picture of you doing whatever. I, I don't, I think if you, if you put a pro, professional photo and a professional cover photo, you're screaming, this is a commercial. You are a, on a fake business. I mean, I'll go to business pages. I mean, I'll go to a profile pages, and if a page looks like it's fake, I'll delete it. I'll just add the, the real person. But now that I'm maxed out, I don't, even, I don't even have the luxury of adding that person anymore, so they just disappear off my friends list forever, okay? Because if you, if you do it, I'm telling you, if you do a professional page, you're not gonna put as much engagement and time on it. You're not gonna go and like people's pictures and stuff on it. You're gonna do it on your personal page, right? So most of your activity is happening on your personal page, not your business page. So I challenge you, go to someone's page that you know is a fake profile or a business profile and look at their timeline. See how much engagement they really have. See how much they're really posting. You know, what kind of posts are they posting? Are they posting pro personal posts or are they po posting professional posts? You'll start realizing that you are looking at a shell a, is not an authentic Facebook profile. There's no life in it. There's no activity. Uh, there's no uh, substance. And why would I waste one of my precious spots of 5,000 friends for a page that's not going to really do anything except for be a static brochure? That's what your business page should be, right? So presentation, you know, is not just about what photos and whatnot. It should be about what you're you're constantly posting and, and, and the, the activity. And again, I always say your profile uh, page is like your TV show. So what is your TV show about? That's what you should be presenting. Okay. Now, you do promote your business pages on your profile. If you look at your profile, and you know, this angles might be off or whatever, if you look at your profile, you'll see on the very left column, on the, on, on, you have like a little, I guess, statistics. Where you're from, where do you live, what do you do for a living, how long you've been a Facebook member, whatever. You can actually customize that and put like your, your saying or description and whatever. If you go to my page, you'll see that I have a little saying. But it's actually not saying it's a description of what I do and a list of all the different jobs or organizations I'm a part of. And if you click it, if you click it, it'll actually give you links to those pages. Now you gotta think, think like a marketer, right? I wanna drive traffic to those pages. I want people going to my Larry the Mortgage Guy page. I want people going to your Mortgage Insider page. I want people to go to my lip sync page, whatever, right? My lead expert page. I want people to go to those pages. But when you pummel people with that information, like, hey, go visit my business page, go visit whatever, go like it, you're, you're kind of being annoyed. You're asking for a favor. I'd rather people hang around my profile page and 
accidentally go to the business page, right? Or if people like who I am and they're like, well, I want to do business with this guy. How do I find more information? They'll click those links. That's what that's what that little area is. I look at it as a link, a list of links. It's a, a, a list of destinations where they can go if they want more information. It's not front and center. It's not the first thing I talk about. It just happens to be there, right? The profile is is the show. The profile is where they're gonna they're gonna get most of their entertainment or interaction with me. Okay. Now, if you follow my digital assets video, those little pages, those links, those are your digital assets. And if you do want to promote it, you can. You just got to be subtle about it, and you got to be smart about it. Because if you just every single post is just po hey, check out my my fan page, check out my business page, check out my real estate page, check out my inventory page. No, no one's going to subscribe to your show, okay? Because it's just a bunch of commercials. But if you you know talk about yourself and things that people relate to, you know, for the majority of the time, and then you you know you pop in, hey, uh, do me a favor and check out my page, give me some feedback, give me a like if you like it, right? You, you can do that. You can do that to your digital assets, right? Uh, so that's how you should present your profile page. Now, when it comes to the name, right? You notice my name says Larry Lee Dash Lender. That's kind of a overkill. It's kind of like, uh, I mean, almost literally changing my identity. So every single person that meets me really legitimately thinks my name is Larry Lee Lender. Okay, um, that's okay, right? You don't have to do that, but for sure, you want to use the correct name when it comes to your name. So like, if you have a profile page and it's your page, it's your business page, you wanna put your actual name. Like, if your name is John Henson, you wanna put John Henson, right? Uh, if you put something fake or John, you know, John the mortgage guy or whatever, you, you, again, it's almost like you're making it a business again, right? You don't want to do that. Plus, you want people to know who your name is. They want to know your name because that's a little bit of a personal touch, right? Uh, the reason why I put Larry Dash Lender is because I am in the public a lot. What I mean by that is I go to groups and I talk to strangers constantly, right? And uh, it has it has uh, elicited questions like what is, you know what is, are you a lender what do you lend for you know people just assume it's like oh if you need help go talk to Larry I mean obviously he's a lender right so sometimes it confuses people sometimes it makes people understand yes this guy is a lender especially if they go to my page that says your mortgage guy you'll know right by the way that's the nickname right you should definitely add that to your profile so you have your real name and then you'll have the nickname right so if you are a car guy you put Kyle and Anderson, and then you put your car guy, right? Uh, the nickname doesn't appear all the time, especially when you're out there like uh, commenting and texting, whatever. It doesn't put their nickname on there, but when they go to your page, they see it. So, in an instant, when a person who doesn't know who you are clicks your name, they load up your page, they'll see your your full name that they recognize, and then your nickname, which really should be your occupation, your business, your tag, whatever. And let them know what you do from the, from Jump Street. Like the moment they click your page, they know what you do, right? But don't be annoying about it. So don't plaster your entire page with nothing but ads and photos uh, that are professionally designed to promote your business. Uh, what I'm saying is that they should uh, be able to, using context clues, and know what you do, especially based on your nickname, and of course on the list that's on your work history. Right. But yeah, that's my my opinion as to how you should uh, present your profile page. Uh, you know, the thing is, man, it's like a resume, and when it comes to social media, resumes are no longer about you know where you worked at, where you started working at, uh, you know your work your work duties or whatever. That's not what social media is about anymore. No one has time to read all that crap, right? That's why LinkedIn is kind of weird to me. But I mean, I'm starting to use it a little bit more. Um, social media is all about imagery. It's about videos and sound, right? What strikes, what grabs attention, right? I mean, I have videos that are like two minutes long and people watch three seconds and then that's it. <laughs> 
So in reality, if I if I was a master uh, marketer, I would make an entertainment video for th in three seconds, right? Uh, maybe I'll achieve that someday. But it's about you know, quick, quick, quick uh, gratification. They want to know what's up, everything. I mean, it, so don't, you don't want to put too much information, but you do want to put enough information so that people at first glance know who you are. And if you grab their attention, then you can give more details, right? So that's how a profile, like I said, that's how a profile page should be presented. If you have any questions, you can always look at my profile. I think I did a great job, and the only reason why I think that is because I constantly gain followers. I have a max amount of friends. I cannot add any more friends, so people try to friend me, and my followers go up. Last week, I kind of lagged a little bit. I got like 80 followers, when the week before that, I got like 110 followers, so I don't know what happened last week, but it, I keep on getting followers. So whatever I'm doing on my profile page is working. Okay, because I never received as many followers before. 2016, I never got that many followers on a weekly basis. So something's happening, right? So it must be correct. Otherwise, people wouldn't want to follow me. They look at my profile page like, no, fuck this guy. Did I say that? Sorry. Beep. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, hopefully you guys got some value out of that. You have any questions, any feedback? Uh, this is for Kirk. Kirk was asking questions about this. So. This video is actually for you, uh, how you should think about how you page. So I'll tag you to make sure you watch this video, okay, boss? Uh, but yeah, this is Larry the Morris Guy, your sales disruptor. I appreciate you guys, uh, you guys watching.